Hi everyone, this is Andy plus AI, and I finally figured out how to use two displays on the card pewter ADV. A wonderful guy from the YouTube channel Hobby Support got dual displays working in his own project, and it actually worked. He also pointed me to the exact library needed to make both screens run at the same time. Huge thanks to him for the tip. So today I'll show how all of this works using my unfinished dashboard project as an example. I was so excited that dual screen support is possible that I thought you would also enjoy seeing how it works. We have the built-in display on the card pewter itself, 240 by 135 pixels, and we're adding an external ILI 9488 display with a 480 by 320 resolution. This opens up a lot of possibilities for more complex interfaces and showing different information on each screen. Let's start with the connections. The external screen plugs into the EXT connector on the card pewter ADV. It's a standard 2.54 millimeter pin header. Power, the red wire, goes to the five volt pin on the connector. Ground, black wire, to GND. Control wires, the rest go to the special pins used for the display. Important pins, CS to pin 13, RST to pin one, DC to pin five, MOSI to pin nine, SCK to pin 7, LED to pin 6, MISO to pin 11. The display uses SPI, a fast serial interface. Our screen uses three-wire SPI, meaning it only sends data one way, from the microcontroller to the screen. Once the wiring is done, the screen is ready. Now let's move to the software side. This is where things get interesting. We have two displays and they must work at the same time without interfering with each other. The problem? At first, AI and I tried using the same library for both displays, but we quickly ran into trouble. After initializing the external screen, the internal one stopped working. This was caused by SPI conflicts and incorrect initialization order. The solution? A hybrid approach. Different libraries for each display. For the external screen, we use TFT ESPI. It's powerful and supports creating independent objects for multiple displays. The external screen runs on SPI bus number three, also known as HSPI. For the internal screen, we use the standard M5 card pewter library, pre-configured by the manufacturer. It runs on SPI bus number two, also known as FSPI. Why this works? Each screen uses its own SPI bus, so they don't collide. It's like two separate roads. Each screen has its own lane. Initialization order is critical. First, we initialize the external display and only then the internal one. If you do it the other way around, you'll get conflicts again. Once both displays are initialized, they work independently. You can draw on each one without affecting the other. Now the fun part, how to use both screens in a real project. In my dashboard project, I show different information on each screen. For example, when the large external screen shows the clock, the small built-in one shows the weather. And when the large screen shows the weather, the small one shows the clock. How it's implemented. The external display uses LVGL, a modern graphical interface framework for building graphical interfaces, buttons, charts, animations, all that good stuff. The small display uses simple drawing calls from MGFX, which is faster and ideal for text or numbers. Updating. Each display updates independently. When the user switches pages on the large screen, we update the small screen at the same time to show matching information. For example, if the user switches to the cryptocurrency page on the large screen, we show the clock on the small one because crypto charts won't fit on the tiny display. This approach gives us a lot of flexibility, detailed info on the big screen and summaries on the small one. Perfect for dashboards and information panels. So here's what we've achieved. The external display is connected through the EXT port using SPI. We use separate libraries for each display to avoid conflicts. Each screen works on its own SPI bus. Initialization order is critical, first external, then internal. And in the end, we get two fully independent screens, perfect for complex UIs. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Links to the code and documentation will be in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time, nerds.